Welcome to another daily dose of SAP Analytics Cloud. Today, we're going to take a look how you can actually schedule your SAP Analytics Cloud story. So we're going to quickly create a story with a few widgets, and we're going to use the sample model that is being delivered with SAP Analytics Cloud. So we're going to include a chart. We're going to include a table. We're going to include an input control and we're going to have more than one pages and then we're going to schedule it. So we're going to quickly configure all the components. So as you can see, we have a story with a chart, a table, an input control. We have two pages. The second page has a table as well. And we have a story filter. So we're going to take a look at how the export looks like without scheduling, by just actually triggering the export manually so that we can see the look and feel of what to expect when we also schedule it. So you can see we have the PDF, we have both pages, all the components are there. It looks like how we designed it. And we also have the appendix with the additional information. So now we can actually save our story and then we can trigger the scheduling. So when we trigger the scheduling, we get a separate menu where we can actually configure a few items. First of all, we can enter a name for the scheduling job. We can then decide the starting day and time. And if this is a one-time scheduling or a recurring job, we can then configure the details for the email that people receive. So the subject line, the message that people receive. We can also decide if we want to include a link to a life story. It's important that the link is going to point to the life story um, and that is being included as part of the email. And then we can configure at the bottom the distribution options. So the people that you want to send the email to are those users or teams as part of your analytics cloud system or are they outside of the system? So then you have to enter the email. In my case, I'm just gonna send it to myself. And then you can include different views. Now, this is important. You will notice that you don't have an ability right now to influence the filter values. Remember, we had a story filter and an input control. So you can't influence those. We will come to that in the next session by using bookmarks. So then we can actually also configure the PDF settings. Do we want to include both pages? Do we want to have an appendix? And then we can actually trigger the scheduling job. So when we trigger it, we then actually present it with a link which shows us the job details as part of the calendar. So as an administrator, you can also go back into the calendar and actually see all the jobs that have been set up, as you can see here on the right hand side. So when the scheduling is finished, you will actually receive a notification as part of SAP Analytics Cloud and you receive the email. As you can see, in this case, we have the subject line, the message text, and we have the PDF as well as the live link. The PDF then includes everything that we exported, in our case, the two pages. So I hope that this quick introduction into how you can schedule your SAP Analytics Cloud story was helpful. Next time, we're going to take a look how we can combine the scheduling with the bookmarks to influence data being sent to different people. And I want to say thank you for watching and listening.